having been in the resume writing and career coaching profession for quite some time now, has definitely given me the privilege of getting good reviews from my clients. I'm going to read some of them to you. Lisa was monumental with my transition from military to the civilian workforce. I wasn't sure how to accurately translate my skills into resume form to be competitive in the civilian sector. Lisa performed such an excellent job, I had a career lined up before I finished ETSing. Lisa is extremely helpful and a pleasure to work with. She knows her stuff and gives great career interview advice. She was able to take my prior work experience, hobbies, and aspirations and combine them into a beautifully written and professional resume cover letter. Lisa seems to know her stuff. After meeting with Lisa and having a long one-on-one -on -one discussion, she was able to compile enough professional and personal insight to compose a resume that not only landed me a job quickly, but at a higher level and nearly twice the pay I was expecting. To beat that in a field I hadn't been in since the 1980s, Lisa is worth her salt. You're one great factor to my confidence. Having something I can show for has surely boosted my self-esteem. Now, my success in this profession lies not only in my skills and experience, but in my ability to bring out my client's own uniqueness. And this is what this YouTube channel is about. It is about bringing your own uniqueness, something that is already there inside of you. So this YouTube channel is about helping you succeed through you. Yes, you, your own uniqueness. So what I'm going to share with you in this video is something that you will barely hear or watch or read on a video or blog on resume or career coaching. What I'm going to share with you are actually proven mindsets that will help you have a winning resume so you can get the job that you rightfully deserve. Now, if you believe that this video is going to be helpful to you or to anyone you know, please click like. And you might as well click the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of every video I post on Wednesdays. So going back to the mindsets, the first mindset that you need in order to have a winning resume is that your resume is you. Everything about you is going to be there on the resume as far as what the perception of the person reading the resume would be. So if I'm the person reviewing your resume, everything I see on your resume will already form an impression in my mind of who you are. Everything from the choice of fonts to the layout to how you, you put words together is going to be a reflection of you. So I am going to see if I were the hiring manager reading your resume, I'm going to see through your resume how much value you put to yourself and to the job that you are applying for. You know, I can't believe that I get calls from people applying for six figure salary jobs and yet are not willing to pay over $100 for a resume. So what does that tell me? It tells me immediately that that person is not putting value on his resume, on his job, and on his future. So again, this is what a resume is that you have to remember. Your resume is you. So be careful and be sure that that resume truly and rightfully represents who you are and how you want to be perceived. Now, the second mindset to having a winning resume that will get you the job you rightfully deserve is that you have to remain competitive. You have to remain competitive, not only in a competitive world, but in a fast paced competitive world. And it's not really easy remaining competitive these days. There's just too much competition. And so let's talk about competition and then let's talk about the fast paced or the fast paced first. Because we live in a very fast paced society, people don't have the patience to really get to know you in a lengthy way. 
I mean, who would want to read a three-page resume? I always tell my clients, your first few words can either make or break you. So what, what are those first few words? So you have to take that into consideration that those first few words are very, very crucial to your resume because of how fast-paced this society is turning into. And then going back to competition, the good thing about competition or living in a competitive society is people are learning to focus on themselves. Now, of course, some people are going to say, oh, that's not good. You know, this society is turning into a me, me, me. People are only concerned about themselves. Well, let me tell you something. The good thing about that is that, is that people are realizing that if they cannot be somebody else, then I might as well do me. And that is what your uniqueness is about. Your uniqueness is actually your competitive edge in this highly competitive world. So your own uniqueness, since it's your competitive edge, should be on your resume. Don't put your tasks. I always tell clients, employers don't want to see what you do on a day-to-day -day basis because anybody who's paid to do the job is expected to do that job. What the employer needs to see is what makes you different. So have that mindset, have that mindset of staying competitive by staying true to who you are, your own uniqueness. Now, the third mindset to have a winning resume is to think like an entrepreneur. You know, an entrepreneur is always thinking about how to promote himself and how to promote his business or his products and services. So you need to have this kind of mindset, even if you don't have a business, even if it's a career, you always need to think about how do I promote myself in relation to what I can offer. And I'm going to go to that on the fourth mindset. You always have to consider what, what, what services can I offer? So this has to be on your resume. Whether it's a product or a service, when it's, it's a product, it's something that you have created. You know, you have design training programs. So that's, that's a product that you're offering and you're showing on your resume. And that also includes a part of you and your uniqueness, what you have done. And then when it comes to service, it is how the company benefited from you, how your employer benefited from you. Um, did you increase productivity? How much percentage? Uh, did you increase it or did you lessen the cost? Did you help reduce costs? How much was that? What is the percentage? And did you increase efficiency? How did you do that? So these are now the services that you can offer to the next employer. And that has to be on your resume to show that you have done these things and you can do it even better for another company. So this is what having an entrepreneur or entrepreneurial mindset is about. You always have to think of your products and services and how it can benefit the person you are selling it to because your, your resume is your sales kit. It's like offering something to another person or to another company. Now, the fourth mindset for you to have a winning resume, as I've said, it's connected to having an entrepreneurial mindset, is for you to be service oriented. So always have that service orientation mentality. So what does that mean? I actually mentioned this in uh, my video, The Right Career For You. So check that video, The Right Career For You. In that video, I mentioned that one of the things that I ask my clients when I'm interviewing them is, if I were the hiring manager, why will I hire you over other equally qualified candidates? And most of them don't really feel comfortable about that question. It's like, you know, they feel like they're going to be so prideful or condescending if they even answer that. Like my clients say, oh, I'm not really used to talking about myself. But then I tell them, well, think about it this way. Think service orientation. What service? can you provide to your employer that will benefit your employer, that will be beneficial for the employer, for the business, in the achievement of their corporate goals, in their achievement, fulfillment of their vision and mission. And so when you start having that service orientation mindset, 
then it's going to be easier for you to represent yourself and what you can do for the company. Because now you're not thinking about just yourself, but you're thinking of what you can offer, which is still part of the entrepreneurial mindset. So remember, these mindsets are actually like building blocks. They're the foundation for you to have a winning resume. So whether you are creating your own resume or having somebody do it for you, remember these four mindsets. And if you are creating your resume and this forms, this actually falls under the first mindset, which is your resume is you and the value you put on your resume actually reflects the value you put on yourself. Value is not only in terms of money. Value is also measured in terms of time. How much time you put on a resume is actually showing how much value you're willing to invest in it and to yourself. And that's the reason why resume writers charge a fee for resume writing because it is not a joke. It is not something that you just put together or here's a list of my job. No, because of the competitive world we live in, everything has changed and you want to remain competitive as part of that mindset that I have shared with you. So if you want to avail of my resume writing service or career coaching, I'm going to put a link on the video description below. And I have a lot of free articles on my blog and I'm also going to share that so you can read it and apply it. And just remember to apply. Apply what you've learned. Apply these mindsets. And I promise you that if you really not only apply, not only inculcate, inculcate these mindsets but apply it to every job search you do in creating your resume i promise you you are going to have the job that you rightfully deserve now if this video has been very helpful to you please not only click like but please leave a comment and share it with your friends. I would love to hear from you too, like any experience you've had in creating a resume, applying for a job, or anything you wanna add that you have experienced that's been helpful for you, or any question, any question for that matter. You can also make suggestions on what you wanna learn from me in relation to your own uniqueness. So feel free to leave a comment, question, suggestion, whatever. And again, I would like to ask you to not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified of every video I post on Wednesdays. Now, I want you to remember something. You are uniquely made for a purpose that only you can fulfill. Remember that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.